Silicon Valley is not recognized for its glitz and gloss. Nonetheless, Peter Thiel has created a mystique. Thiel, a billionaire who was co-founder of PayPal, the digital payment business and the first outside investor in Facebook. And there's no doubt that the PayPal success story is one that everyone should know. The PayPal Mafia has had a massive impact on everything from social media to the auto and aerospace industries. So, today, let's have a look at the documentary about Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal. Thiel is one of the most influential figures in Silicon Valley and he has parlayed his personal network, financial investments and zeal for debate into a business philosophy that is emulated by startup founders who revere Thiel as the cult leader of the cult of disruption. According to Max Shafkin, author of the Thiel biography, The Contrarian, which was published in 2021. Thiel's family relocated to the United States from Germany when he was a child, settling in the Californian state of San Francisco. He was a chess champion as a boy and he went on to Stanford University for his undergraduate studies and subsequently to the university's law school. During his time at Stanford, Thiel founded the conservative newspaper, The Stanford Review, which fought against what Thiel and his fellow writers saw as the creeping force of political correctness on university campuses. Later, Thiel and tech investor David Sachs collaborated on the book, The Diversity Myth, which addressed many of the same issues. In his first year out of college, he raised $1 million from friends and family to start Thiel Capital Management, which invested in the dot-com boom. He then joined up with Max Levchin to co-found PayPal, which was eventually bought by eBay. Thiel utilized the proceeds from the sale to make investments in other technology businesses, and he is most known for being one of the early investors in Facebook. Other early PayPal employees and investors go on to become significant figures in Silicon Valley and they collectively referred to themselves as the PayPal Mafia, even going so far as to pose as Mafia bosses in a Fortune magazine spread as recently as 2007. The more deals Thiel participated in as a member of the organization, the greater his power in the technology industry became. Since its founding in the mid-2000s, Thiel's venture capital firm, Founders Fund, has invested in a diverse range of firms, including SpaceX, which was created by PayPal veteran Elon Musk, LinkedIn, and Lyft. Thiel's day job continues to be that of a successful venture capital investor. According to research firm PitchBook, he was instrumental in the formation of many organizations, including Founders Fund, Meet Thrill Capital Management, and Vala Ventures, which together oversee about $20 billion in assets. He also served on the boards of several other companies. Additionally, he has made direct investments in dozens of companies over the years with his own money, including the art buying platform Artsy the mobile game developer Zynga and the health insurance firm Oscar, which was founded by Josh Kushner, the brother of Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, among others. Some of his most well-known investments stand to gain directly from government contracting opportunities. Palantir, which Thiel helped create in 2003, has a large number of government clients, including the Department of Defense among its most important. According to Palantir's most recent earnings report, the company receives more than half of its income from government clients. In 2020, the Trump government awarded a five-year contract to Underhill, a company that specializes in the construction of automated surveillance towers and drones for border enforcement. Thiel is also a serious player in the debate over tax reform. This past year, the investigative journalism organization ProPublica revealed that Peter Thiel has protected billions of dollars of his own money from taxation by operating his investments out of a ROTH individual retirement account. Democratic members of Congress introduced a plan last year that would force Thiel and other affluent individuals who use ROTH accounts to incur massive tax bills if they ever decided to withdraw their funds. 
Peel has also made direct contributions to anti-tax lobbying organizations such as the Club for Growth through his foundation. So what about Facebook? Peter Thiel revealed in February 2022 that he would be leaving Meta, Facebook's parent corporation, after 17 years on the board. According to a 2019 Wall Street Journal story, Thiel has exerted a significant influence on Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, encouraging him to take a more laissez-faire approach to censoring material and advertisements on the company's apps. Liberal employees had expressed displeasure with this appointment to the business's board of directors, which Facebook critics also cited in their arguments about how the corporation facilitated the development of right-wing populist leaders in the United States and other countries. With his departure, it's possible that criticism will grow less fierce, particularly from within the corporation. Nonetheless, it's unlikely that it will totally disappear. Thiel's role was already primarily consultative in terms of steering Facebook's course when the company was founded. In contrast to most corporate boards of directors, Zuckerberg holds complete control over Facebook since he has kept a majority of voting shares over the course of the company's history. Thiel's investments in other companies were also beginning to conflict with his responsibilities as a member of the Facebook board of directors. He has invested in Rumble, a video platform that claims to take a more hands-off approach to content control than social media behemoths such as Facebook and YouTube, among other things. Recently, the New York Times reported that Bold End, another of the businesses sponsored by Thiel's Founders Fund, claimed to have developed the capacity to hack WhatsApp, one of Facebook's products, according to the publication. The billionaire investor has defined himself as a libertarian and has donated mostly to Republican candidates and political action committees that are either conservative or anti-tax in their positions. Thiel wrote in a 2009 essay about his personal political journey that he had become disillusioned with politics and its capacity to achieve libertarian aims, saying, and I quote, I no longer believe that freedom and democracy can coexist." Unquote. In his subsequent remarks, he said that the expansion of voting rights of women and the increase in the number of welfare recipients have made it more difficult to elect libertarian leaders, though he later emphasized that he did not advocate stripping women of their voting rights. More recently, Thiel has expressed nationalist sentiments, stating that large U.S. technology businesses such as Google should avoid doing business with China because it is one of the country's geopolitical rivals. Contrarianism, according to Thiel's biographer Chafkin, has been described as Thiel's most consistent philosophy, in which he positions himself in contrast to conventional or mainstream thinking. According to the New York Times, Thiel first linked himself with Trump in the run-up to his election in 2016, donating at least $1.25 million in his election campaign. After a video of Trump making vulgar remarks about women surfaced, the gift came just a few weeks after the incident. In the following years, Thiel delivered a speech at the Republican National Convention and joined Trump's transition team, where he served as a liaison between the President and Silicon Valley, assisting in the nomination and appointment of some of Trump's acolytes to positions of authority within the administration. Net worth. So, is Peter Thiel a multi-billionaire? Does he have a net worth of more than $10 billion? No way, not yet. Currently, Peter Thiel has an estimated net worth of 5.2 billion US dollars. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.